Philippines is a nation that is going to experience a great exponential. The Lord has given many promises for the Philippines. I mean, the Philippines is going to be one of the wealthiest nations. I mean, a great I mean, move of the Holy Spirit will invade the Philippines. Primarily targeting the Philippines. So only one person, one Filipino must be so excited. <laughs> Philippines is a nation that is going to experience a great exponential revival in the not too distant future. That is the destiny God has revealed about the Philippines. You know, when, if you hear about the awesome word that has been spoken over the Philippines, you would wonder next to how God bless Israel. Philippines will be the second nation to Israel. How God is going to greatly bless, prosper and lift her so high up that she will be like a beacon of a lighthouse for the world. So we have a responsibility to help the Philippines, the Filipino people and the church to know about the prophetic destiny of God. And that is why God has moved us to dedicate a special network for the Far East that will cover Japan, Korea, the Philippines and all the other smaller nations in the Far East region to hear the prophetic word of God. The Lord is telling me and I don't know why I'm saying it now, not because I saw the people, the sweet people uh, from the Philippines. The Lord is telling me a great move of the Holy Spirit will invade the Philippines. Just what I'm talking right now, I heard that. A great move of the Holy Ghost is going to invade the nation of the Philippines. And expect great changes, good changes, good and great changes in your government and economy. I'm, I'm hearing the Lord say to me to tell the people of the Philippines, great changes, good changes in the government and the economy. God is blessing the Philippines in a blessed way. So Ephesians 6.18 says, praying always with all prayer. The Lord is showing me are going to be extremely significant for the Philippines. Either you're going to go on to greatness it's going to be that transformed nation, or I see that there's going to be some trouble times. So pray, pray, pray. I know you're already praying, but this is a time God is going to pull down the spirit of corruption. And God is going to release the spirit of truth and righteousness into this nation, because righteousness exalts a nation. The Lord has given many promises for the Philippines. I mean, the Philippines is going to be one of the wealthiest nations on the earth. The spirit of poverty will be broken. So rise up. Even though, you know, it's terrible and everywhere you look around is devastation, out of this darkness is going to come a transformation movement that will be shown and modeled around the world, says the Lord. You know, the Lord shows me over the Philippines there is a principality of corruption. And this corruption has been so systemic and so deep that this principality thinks it controls the Philippines. But the Lord is showing me that if there will be a national fast, praying everyone, the north, the south, the east, and the west, the whole church, not part of the church, standing up and fasting and praying. There should not be a day there isn't fasting going on for the Philippines. And I'm calling you, wherever you are, whoever is hearing my voice, Whatever pastor is hearing my voice, whatever youth movement, the Lord is saying, love your nation. This is a strategic nation. Fast for the elections coming up. Cry out to God that in the next elections, God is going to move in a massive way. The spirit of corruption will be broken. No longer will his words be delayed over the Philippines. If you stand and you pray and you believe, God, the Lord of Judah, has got to rise and shake his mane over that nation. And he is going to rise.
will be dispelled, says the 